Today is it's a bittersweet day in the life of our congregation. Uh, as many of you know, about 30 years ago, we had the good fortune of a, as a congregation of calling Carol here to be with us. Uh, for the last number of years, she has been the business man administrator. She's held a number of other titles in those 30 years. What, what is important, though, and for anyone who is uh, really active in the life of the congregation, you know that job titles have actually meant very little to Carol. Uh, when I say she has done everything in this congregation, I mean she's really done everything. Uh, when, when flowers need to be arranged on an impromptu notice, she's the one who arranges them. Uh, when the firefighters show up because there's an alarm going off in the church in the middle of the night, she's the person that they call. I walked out on Thursday morning and Carol was shoveling the sidewalk. I mean, Carol does everything around here. And so uh, it's bittersweet because Carol is, is officially retired as of Friday. Uh, and so on behalf of the congregation, I just want to say, Carol, please don't go. <laughs> but I don't know. That was internally. What I wanted to say around was, Carol, thank you. Thank you very much. We, um, what we're going to do today is when the service concludes, uh, we're going to have a celebration in the fellowship hall for Carol. Uh, we have a few special things planned for those who would like to say a little something. There's going to be an opportunity to. Uh, we have two gifts for Carol. Uh, frankly, the first one, the one we're going to give it to her now, she already knows it's coming. And I know that's bad, but we had to ask what airline uh, she, she utilizes. One of, uh, one of Carol's great passions is, that, uh, is, is her grandchildren who live in Seattle. And so we've got you uh, uh, something here to help you get out to Seattle. It's it's actually not in the envelope, but that's... <laughs> well, that's, that's <laughs> Thanks, anyway. Thanks. It's a uh, thought that counts. That's, <laughs> that's right. Uh, but we, uh, we again, uh, there's going to be some opportunity today, and, and certainly you're going to see Carol around. She's still going to be um, uh, around in the congregation, but, but today is a day for us to celebrate with Carol. And so uh, I think a round of applause would certainly be appropriate. I, I'm going to go on one little bit more, and, and this is why. Here's why Carol is so beloved in our congregation. I've had three people, and I, I don't, uh, I'm not exaggerating. We've had three people in the last two weeks who have come to me and said, Pastor, I am really going to miss, or we are really going to miss, and they've said, you've said, Pastor Carol. <laughs> and the reason why people made that mistake, and it wasn't actually a mistake, is because for 30 years, she's done the job we've asked her to do very faithfully, but it's far more than that. I can't think of the thousands of people who've come into the office who've needed a word of encouragement, someone to laugh with them, or someone to cry with them. And every time Carol has put down what she was doing to serve this congregation and this community, and that's why, Carol, that's why you're so beloved. So thank you. In retirement, I know one of the goals is to spend more time with the grandchildren yes. who, are, who are in Seattle. So they are, uh, one of the gifts we gave her as a congregation is a gift certificate to help her go out to Seattle uh, for, through Delta Airlines. But we also wanted you to be able to have, do something around here. And so I'm praying that somebody's out there is going to, yes, very good, good. Oh my God. Thank you, Carol. That's very, all right. I think one more round of applause. Thank you, Carol. Oh, thank you. Thank you.